Welcome back to another OnlineDrummer.com Monday Drum Lesson. I'm Nate Brown, and in this lesson, in this lesson, I'll be going over a, a technique called a hi hat splash. You'll need the sheet music called Make It Splash, and you can get that at OnlineDrummer.com. Take a look at the notation for hi hat splash technique. Uh, when you see a circle under the X, the hi hat X. It means to splash the hi-hat. And if you're not familiar with what that is, it's just a splash. Instead of a chink, it's a splash. That sound is made when you don't hold it closed. You just push it down and let it uh, bounce back up on its own. Now, I found the best way to do it, the way that I like to do it the most, is to actually use my heel on the pedal. That way... It's kind of like I'm just kicking the hat. And then when I want to close it, I go here. Now, this technique goes back and forth between the splash and the um, chink or the close, whatever you want to call it. And I do recommend doing that with your heel because it's really difficult to hold that down with your heel. You can get it to go down once, but it comes back up, so it's really going to make this technique easier once you get used to going back and forth. If your hi-hat is set up so that this part here is too close, you have a really big foot, uh, I don't go straight onto it because I can't. I go off to the side, so I actually turn my foot a little bit so that when I'm hitting, I'm off to the side. What I did is I included 12 coordination exercises just so you can build the coordination and the technique on this. I know at the beginning of the video I was playing some stuff on the toms and that. I'll go over that a little bit, but I didn't notate that here because I figured you got to build the coordination first. I'm not going to play all of these, but I'll just play number one to get you started. And start slow, work your way up to a speed that you're comfortable with. Uh, the second side, 7 through 12, they're the same beats, except that now you're doing the hi-hat splash on the ands. So instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, you've got them on the ands. 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 1, and 2, and I'll play that beat. Once you build up the coordination for that, you can start throwing it around uh, with all kinds of grooves around the kit because now you don't necessarily have to have that, that right hand, leading hand on cymbal keeping time. You can have your left foot do the keeping of the time. So you can do a beat. You don't even have to do that. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to download the sheet music, work on that technique, and if you get a chance, post a video reply of yourself playing this technique along with your grooves. Also, check out OnlineDrummer.com for tons of sheet music. We're putting up a lot of new sheet music uh, weekly, uh, every week. And sign in and say hey on our drum forum. Keep drumming.